Hello, I'm Kevin Chen with Panasonic Electronic Materials. I've been working on semiconductor packaging materials for over 20 years. Today, I'd like to talk about epoxy molded compounds, or EMCs as they are commonly referred to. In this video, I will cover some basics like what is an EMC? What does an EMC do? Why are they important? And how are they made? Epoxy molded compounds are a specialized type of semiconductor encapsulation material. They generally consist of high performance epoxy resin, fillers, and other additives. They are used in almost every type of semiconductor devices and are easily recognizable as a black structure you can see when looking at the components on a circuit board. Semiconductors are wonderful devices, but they are small, delicate, and need to be connected to the outside world. IC packaging is a process of preparing semiconductors to meet the world. Semiconductor chips are typically mounted and electrically connected on a metal or organic substrate, after which the assembly is overmolded with an EMC to protect the electrical and the mechanical connections. EMCs serve two main functions, to protect semiconductor chips during the assembly process and to protect semiconductor chips during the end use application. The electronic assembly process can be tough on components. Components are often subjected to temperatures above 250 degrees Celsius for minutes at a time when they are attached to a circuit board. The end use environment can also be very demanding. Different industries have different performance requirements. As semiconductors become more ubiquitous, the performance demands continue to increase, and so do the requirements for EMCs. EMCs can be delivered in a number of different formats, including powders, tablets, sheets, and even liquid. The format depends on the type of molding process that will be used. Transfer molding is the most common process of encapsulating semiconductor chips. EMCs for transfer molding are generally delivered as tablets. At the start of transfer molding process, the EMC is heated to its melting point and turned into a viscous liquid. This liquid is then forced by pressure into the cavity formed by motor chassis where it flows around the semiconductor chip. After EMC has fully filled the motor cavity, it is cured by heat. The thermal curing process results in a fully cured epoxy compound that protects the semiconductor chip from the environment. After curing, the encapsulated chip are released from the motor chassis and proceed to the next step in the packaging and assembly process. At the start of the compression molding process, the EMC powder placed in the bottom molded chest is heated to its melting point and turned into a viscous liquid, while the top molded chest with the semiconductor chip assembled on a substrate drops down to close and clamp. Unlike a transfer molding, the EMC for compression molding doesn't flow much before being formed around the semiconductor chip. Like the transfer molding, the EMC for compression molding is also cured by the heat. There are lots of important properties for an EMC, which are usually grouped into flow properties, mechanical properties, and electrical properties. Those properties are a result of carefully selected composition of different raw materials in different percentage in order to achieve intended purpose. There are trade-offs between those properties. Changing one would also change others. 
So achieving the targeted EMC properties through carefully selected composition is a key to making good EMC products. Flowability are very important properties during molding process in order to achieve successful filling and curing results. EMCs must be formulated to achieve the correct flow rate, viscosity, and gel time for the specific type of semiconductor package and molding process they are being used for. EMCs need to have certain mechanical properties to ensure the component can be assembled properly and meet the required performance in the field. Component performance criteria like warpage, temperature resistance, humidity resistance, and impact resistance are all greatly influenced by the mechanical properties of EMCs. Of course, the electrical properties of EMCs are also very important. Those materials are formulated to electrically insulate the semiconductor chip from the surrounding environment. The electrical properties like dielectric constant and volume resistivity can impact the performance of the chip itself, especially for applications like telecommunication and power electronics. Now, let's look at some raw materials used to make an EMC. There can be anywhere from 5 to 25 different raw materials used to make a given EMC. With wide range formulation and manufacturing processing variables, it takes a lot of expertise and experience to develop high performance EMCs needed for today's semiconductor devices. Inorganic fillers such as silicon dioxide generally comprise the greatest part of the EMC composition. Fillers act to toughen the EMC, prevent moisture absorption, and reduce the coefficient of thermal expansion. The filler loading, dispersion, and the particle size distribution are all critical factors in manufacturing high-performance EMCs. Epoxy resins form the most of the polymeric matrix that binds the EMC together and bonds it to the semiconductor chip and substrate. Although other polymer compounds are also used sometimes, the resin and the catalyst systems influence many of the key performance attributes of the EMCs, like modulus, adhesion, and moisture absorption. A variety of other additives are often used to influence the key performance properties of the EMC. For example, colorants like carbon black are added to give EMC its black appearance. And coupling agents and adhesion promoters are added to improve both the cohesive and adhesive bonding strength of the EMC. Panasonic Electronic Materials is an industry leader in EMC technology. We have been making high-performance EMCs for decades, and we have factories located throughout the world. We have EMCs for virtually all types of semiconductor packages, and our materials have been used in billions of semiconductor devices. Let's take a quick look at two different types of EMCs to tie together the topics discussed so far. The CV8710 series are epoxy molded compounds in tablets format used for fine pitch bulk grade array package by transfer molding. These products offer excellent warpage control and a good feeling performance. They are commonly used in packages for high-performance digital applications. The CV8714 series are epoxy molded compounds used for NAND memory packages by transfer molding. These products offer excellent warpage control, good feeling performance, superior moldability, and good wide sweep performance. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this brief overview 
of epoxy motor compound useful? Please feel free to contact us via our website or at the email address shown below and let Panasonic help you with your next epoxy motor compound project. Panasonic Industry